Hello everyone, Universal Soldier, and today I am bringing you Modern Warfare 3 class setup. It's going down, alright? First, we're going to look at my stacks to let you know that I am totally legit. I play alone, okay? If I were to play with some of my best people, I promise you I would have higher than 3.0 ratio. Right now, I'm holding a 2.28 my wins are 101, my losses are 53, win streak is 27, kill streak is 18. I've been playing for 16 hours and 55 minutes and I'm already level 71. All right. Um, I've been having a lot of success with this game, but at the same time, um, I really dislike it. I'm going to go ahead and get to these classes. Right now, um, the AK-47, uh, it's a good gun, but it's, something seems weird about it. What I mean by that is... When when you go to the stats, right here, you see the damage is, is, is like super high. You know what I'm saying? Like the damage is super high. Accuracy, it's still pretty accurate, but I don't know. It still takes too long to kill them. So, you know, I'm putting that gun on the back burner. As you see, I'm still rocking Hardline Pro. I rock Hardline Pro in the beginning of every match, okay? That way I can go ahead and get my, my spy plane, go ahead and put up those big kill streaks for the assault package. Yeah, so um, I rock strike package, assault. I keep it on regular because it's just perfect where it is. You know what I'm saying? The uh, attack helicopter gets me tons of kills. Um, the IMS is beautiful. Y'all should saw it. Y'all probably already saw that kill streak. And the UAV not only helps out me, but helps out my team. Now I'm not saying go for the higher kill streaks. I've I've had an O spray gunner. A O spray gunner is like chopper gunner in Modern Warfare 2. Okay. Juggernaut, you get to run around the map with a juggernaut, you know. Um, very hard to kill. Um, me and four people and one of my choppers killed one before. I had the video somewhere in my, my file share. I, I still got to find it. We was all blasting at the dude. And my chopper was shooting at him and we just ripped him. Um, payload, y'all already know what that is. AC-130, y'all already know what that is. Um, assault drone, I've had one before. Uh, it was, to me it was weak. You know, it was real weak, so... I don't really mess with it for an assault drone to, to be at 10 kills and not really do that much for me. You know, I was kind of disappointed. Reaper goes real hard. Okay, basically nowhere to hide if the map doesn't have a lot of cover. And that is and, and it is very beautiful. AE6 Overwatch is best for um when you're on a, a map with not a lot of cover. And you need, you know, somebody to watch your back. That's what that's for. Straight run, very good. I would use it on a map where you where there's not a lot of cover or in where you can cover a lot of other places. That's the only time where it's really good. Um, attack helicopter, y'all already know how that gets down. Persistent airstrike, uh, I would use it on probably domination or headquarters for when you got a cap. You know what I'm saying? Sentry gun, uh, I mess with it every once in a while because for some reason my sentry guns never last and they just get taken out. Um, Predator Missile, I, I use that all the time, beautiful, um, getting two kills, three kills at once, IMS goes hard, what you do is you plant it, you plant it, uh, say if you're playing Domination, you plant it somewhere where you know the enemy is always going to come, and it'll rack up kills for you, you can just leave it there, it'll do what it do, Care Package, um, I don't really rock Care Package in uh, Modern Warfare 3, UAV is a must, even though it's so overpowered, UAV, so I rock Hardline, I can get UAV in two kills, okay? Everybody, everybody can do that. That's why it's so overpowered, though. You know, because it's the first kill streak, and everybody needs eyes. But right now, I'm just keeping it random. My 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 regular kill streak. I'm keeping it regular, okay? Because it's working for me. I'm trying to get to a maybe a 2.40. If you see somebody's ratio probably higher than a, a 2.40, that means they're playing with the team. I've been in a lot of games where these weak these weak dudes camping camping one and staying in one spot with a with um the type 95 and then be like oh we beast we beasted you we beasted you remember okay anybody can camp and be good but not everybody can run out and and do good i run solo okay solo dolo 80 percent of the time why because i know i can rely on myself more than 100 percent of the time you know what i'm saying and i've been having success so, I don't want to hear nobody be like, I'm a camper, or so on and so forth, because I'm not a camper. I promise you, I'm one of the best. You know, if, if you want to get a team, and we go team on team, I promise you, I know some of the best, okay? 
um, support. Uh, for the people that are not really aggressive, <clears throat> I recommend you getting this a support class. Okay, you can use it to anyone, anything you want. <clears throat> I don't really mess with our UMP, um, remote sentry. I'll keep it right here, basically. No, I keep it. This is my regular streak right here. Um, airdrop. Hold on, airdrop, stealth bomber, and probably uh, UAV. You know, the airdrop gives me hopefully something nice. Stealth Bomber gets my kills, and I'll be popping the UAV up every time. But you can use it however you want, you know. I, I use it like this because we need some eyes in the air when we're playing the game. You know, we also need to, um, to hold the enemy back. Where in, in, in any game, you need to hold the enemy back with a Stealth Bomber. They never see it coming. Um, and then the Escort Airdrop, uh, it gives me random stuff. And most of the time, the random stuff is good. I don't really mess with Specialists. I think it's a waste, really. Because when you play the game, you can it's, it's so easy to get to like level 30. And then right there is when it starts to take time. Okay? Um, so I don't really mess with specialists. But I guess you can use it if you're like a noob or whatever. You know, if you're just starting, if you're just starting to get the game and, you know, you, you don't like the guns or your kill streaks or whatever or your, your perks or whatever, you can use it. But I don't really use it. I think it was a waste. Um, if you want to rank up quicker in matches, in order to do that, you need to be playing Search and Destroy. With a team, I recommend it with a team. Domination with a team, I recommend it that you use a team. And uh, headquarters, I recommend that you use a team. Okay, I don't play hardcore no more. I don't play hardcore nothing no more because I went in there and played hardcore. And all bums do is use noob tubes, you know. I was with my boy I Monster, and we was in a game on hard hat. I got the video. I'm going to upload the video with his permission. He got 82 kills. Okay, without noob tubes, and these dudes is using noob tubes. I got like 39 kills in the game because you know I wasn't putting on, but yeah, they was using noob tubes. So I don't play hardcore. It takes what two noob tubes to kill you in, in core, and plus the camping is gonna be even worse in hardcore. So that's that. Uh, we're gonna start with my submachine gun right now. The biggest noobish gun in the game, but the best gun in the game. If you can say it's the best, but um, yeah, I've seen its potential, so it's very good. Um, primary is the Type 9.5. My attachments for it are Red Dot and Rapid Fire. Okay, Red with well, Red Dot and Rapid Fire is just unmatched at long range. It's like the Famas of Call of Duty Black Ops, and up close it just rips them. It, it rips them. Just it just rips them. But that's when that's only when you got the quick draw pro. You can you can pull out your gun quicker. Um, I use the steady aim with it sometimes. I don't really like steady aim. I only use steady aim with submachine guns. Uh, I recommend using probably Stalker Pro because you can move faster while aiming. And what I mean is that um, when you and two people are aiming, you can side you can sidestep quicker to hopefully get the kill. So. Um, you know, Dead Silence Pro. Um, I've been trying to use that because a lot of people, have in a lot of games, um, when they have so much uh, uh, UAVs and advanced UAVs and so on and so forth, I admit I rock some Assassin Pro. Everybody rocks Assassin Pro. I don't want to hear that when people say I'm not gonna rock Assassin Pro. I'm not gonna rock Assassin Pro. When I see a dumbass and playing in the match and I see a dumbass using it, you know what I'm saying? Just keep it real. I do rock Assassin Pro because. <clears throat> Every is some of, some of the kills, some of the perks to me are are overpowered. Um, uh, I always rock hardline. Y'all know who I am. Assassin Pro, um, overkill. I don't, I haven't figured that out because I think carrying two primary weapons is is weak and it just makes you slower than me. But that's me. Blast shield. Uh, I can guess. I guess you should use that because a lot of grenades and and uh stuff stuff like that gets thrown. Uh, bouncing Betty's claymore and so on and so forth. Uh. Death streak, I don't really die like that, but um, increased bullet damage for one kill. Dead man's hand, pull out C4 before dying. Marty Don, drop a lot of grenades just after dying. So on and so forth. They bought the death streaks back. Tactical, I keep it at EMP. Um, I would keep it at stuns, but uh, I be seeing a lot of people's equipment. 
you know, I swear I might, I was like one of the first to start rocking the Bouncing Betty, because in every game, you see me using the Bouncing Betty, <clears throat> I got the game the first night, and everything, and, and you know what I'm saying, so I'm going hard, uh, the EMP, I use it because I'll be seeing a lot of people's equipment, I throw it, and I, and I run over it, or maybe destroy it, I don't, I don't want to destroy it, because, you know, they're probably giving away my position, or they're like, oh, somebody had my equipment, okay, I gotta run over there, you know, and bust their head, uh, Trophy system, I've yet to use it because I don't really be having a lot of projectiles come my way. Even though I be playing some domination and, and headquarters, I don't I don't really be having projectiles coming my way. Maybe I gotta, you know, just gotta <laughs> keep finding those games where they're, where it keeps happening on a regular, and then I use it. Tactical insurgent, everybody knows tactical insurgent from Black Ops. Um, I don't play demolition. A lot of people be playing demolition. I'm like, yo, this is not Black Ops. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man, come on. Be real, be a real player, be a real Call of Duty player, get out there and rush and, and flank the enemy. For y'all who don't know flank, what flanking is, flanking is going to the right or the left instead of going the direct path and coming up behind the enemy. Um, ACR, uh, I got on my ACR 6.8, I got um, attachments, red dot and silencer because I need that red dot accuracy. But I also need to stay silent because staying silent in the, in the beginning of a match really helps me and makes me or breaks me. You know, if I come into a game, I use Hardline Pro. I can get my chopper quicker than anybody else. And I put up attack choppers like it's nothing. Three, four, a game. Even though they get shot down, they get a couple kills and they do what that I need them to do. They, they kill them and then they show me their position when they're shooting my stuff down. And I can run over there and bust their fucking head. <clears throat> um, focus. This is all the proficiencies, stability, breath, focus, um, double attachments, impact, kick, and uh, that's that. Um, Sleight of hand pro, you, you need that, but uh, it's different from Black Ops. So, you know, rocking it, rocking it uh, is kind of hard to do. I would only suggest rocking it. When uh you probably have a red dot or, or or silencer and or your your gun it takes a while to reload. Like other than that, you can you can you you can go on without it because I recommend having blind eye, undetectable by air support and sentries and people be having air support. Okay, so don't get that twisted. Extreme conditioning. Um, I didn't like that. I don't think you can run for uh, unlimited distance, so I don't really mess with it. Recon. Um, explosive damage paints the targets on the mini map. You know, y'all can take your time and, and, and look at it um, and do what y'all do to see, you know, what the perks really do. But I'm not going to use all the perks. I only use the basis perks that I need so I can rank up faster. I'm not going to spend 40, 50, 70 hours trying to get every perk when I know I'm on a prestige, you know. It's because I did the same strategy in Black Ops and uh, prestige the nine. Uh, I reached like 11 to, and 9. Or 10 days so um, I got the CM the CM does very good damage um, accuracy is good damage is good fire rate is okay and mobility mobility is okay I still think that it's heavy to me for some weird reason I'm not sure to me my, my I seem to I seem to seem <laughs> that my my player slows down and I like to be as fast as possible and I don't like that my player slows down um, I used guns unsilenced before, but I noticed, like, if you fire off a round, like, 30, 40 people on the other team be just running and be like, Where's, okay, I see this dude fire off a round, I gotta go get this dude, you know, and I'm like, wow, you serious? It's not that serious, like, four, four, four or five people will run up on me just for one kill. So that's why I rock silencer, I hate being noticed, okay? You know, you're like a ninja, you want to be undercover and unseen for as long as possible till you dominate your mission. You know what I'm saying? My mission is to, to do good in games, not carry as many people and go hard so I can prestige quicker, okay? Another thing is if you play with a team that's half as good or decent, you will win, you will prestige quicker. Domination, search and destroy and, and hardline and, 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 and headquarters, those are games for you to prestige quicker, okay? You earn more points, you cap, when you cap in domination, it counts as a kill, okay? Basically, capping points, it's all it's, it's more like a, a point system. 
It's not a. It's not necessarily about the kills like it would be in all the other Call of Duties. They want you to cap stuff. You know, they want you to. You know what I'm saying? So, um, that's why it would be good for if you're not very aggressive to have a support package. <clears throat> um, P90. Um, uh, the P90 is good, but for those lower levels, I suggest MP5 or UMP. Okay, MP5. I put the kick and a silencer. And it's whatever you want. You unlock a level, <clears throat> uh, uh, unlock a, a gold at level 31. Uh, so I suggest that. Um, so, uh, and then uh, we can say, hmm, either extreme conditioning, guns very light, so you'll be very fast. But if you keep running around the map, somebody's gonna find you and you're gonna get shot. Slide of hand pro, yeah. But what about when air cover comes? You know, that's why you. That's why I probably would pick undetected by air support and sentries. Perk two, I would probably go with quick draw or a hard line. You know, hard line. I get that one less kill. Every two assists counts as a kill towards your kill streak. Deaths require one one less death. That's nice. I like that. Every two kills assists because I be getting assists. A lot of people be taking my kills. So, I'll either rock hard line or quick draw pro. You know, I can aim faster. You know, when I'm running, stop, aim faster. You know, pull out before he does and get the first shots off. Okay. Um, perk three, uh, I will either rock stalker pro or steady aim or dead silence. It depends. Like, uh, for search and destroy, dead silence. But steady aim, um, I use steady aim on, on only submachine guns mostly the aim is better for submachine guns the accuracy is better for submachine guns so you know I can just hip fire like fucking crazy and and get the kill so I would probably use steady aim on the UMP and the um the UMP and the MP5 um for the star if you just start now I've had a lot of success with uh with the M4A1 my level for it is what 25 Attachments, silencer, red dot, and then I'm gonna get that omega because I'm a beast. Blue. I would run blind eye, hardline pro, and uh, I think it was stalker pro. And some of my first videos, you can still see me using the gun going hard on these bums. Okay, I would rock strike package three, five, seven. I can get the higher kills. You can see my you can see that my kill streak is 18. I've gotten the higher kills, but I don't like it when I'm at 17 or or 15 kills, then I get killed. What a fucking waste, right? So, I find it more efficient for me to stay with lower kill streaks. I can get them easy and put them out quicker and quicker and quicker than every game than the last game. So, that's why I think um lower kill streaks to me are better. You know, they don't have a nuke in this game. You know, they wasted specialists, which I think is a fucking waste when you can get in, in Modern Warfare 2. There was nukes and so on and so forth, you know, and I didn't like that. So, um, another good assault rifle, the SCAR. SCAR goes hard, okay? Um, I'd probably put kick on it. I just probably could put kick in a silencer or kick in a red dot. Kick or silencer, kick or red dot. Um, blind eye. I do need one assassin pro, so I would probably go with assassin pro, and then uh, probably dead silence or stalker pro, because there will be tons of UAVs, um, advanced UAVs, and so on and so forth. And I hate when people just like they they just run up on me because they got that. You know what I'm saying? And I don't like nobody having no advantage over me. But it's Universal Soldier, man. I'm looking out for you. You can see my stats. I've had plenty of success with this game. Okay, wins 1-0-1. One, one. Losses 5-3. No ties, because I don't tie. Win streak 27. Kills, two, almost 3,000 kills. Deaths 1,293. KD 2.28. Um, accuracy 4.66. I'm trying to get it to a 5. Kill streak is 18. Okay, I've been there. And what I mean by people is... Alright, you see my man Goblin? You see my man Goblin right there? A 3.03. He always plays with the party. 
Okay? God will not love you. I'm just using an example. You know what I'm saying? So don't get mad. You know what I'm saying? My boy Jupiter, good. But you see he plays with a party. If you play with a party, real good people that you rely on, that you play with in previous Call of Duties, your kill, your kill ratio is going to be higher because you don't have to do as much as work and you're going to go positive more than you say I would go positive. Right now, Mondays is a 2.28. Okay, I still go hard, but I play solo dolo most of the time. So when, when I see these teams think they really work at me, I'm like, yo, you with a team, you with people that you play with on the regular, okay? I don't have a lot of friends. You know, they be busy, so on and so forth. They got things to do, so I play alone, okay? Um, uh, wins, uh, 1.90, okay? My win ratio, 1.90. I'm playing alone. That's good. You know, I'm trying to get my win ratio, like, at least at, at a 2.2, .2, maybe. Because in Black Ops, it was some butt, okay? Because I played alone, and, and, and I just didn't have success that game. But um, I'm telling you, Domination, Headquarters, and Domination, Headquarters, and Search and Destroy are going to be always the quickest way to rank up. I don't fuck with Demolition because I just think it's whack, and people still trying to mess with that. I don't do hardcore domination or hardcore nothing because the noob tubes are crazy. I'm giving you, I'm giving you a heads up on that. Go ahead and go in there and you can get noob tube and come out 0, 10, and 50. Okay? Um, Sabotage, I've yet to play it. Capture the Flight, I've yet to play it. Kill Confirmed, I love that game. It's a better team deathmatch. Team Leader, yet to play it. Free for All, I hate Dome because it's so small and it's just, it's just horrible. Um, it's your boy, Universal Soldier. Um, this is the first... Modern Warfare 3 class set up for me. There will be more. Um, I'm going to try to go ahead and get this level 80 so I can prestige. I was supposed to do it at 80, but it was taking too long. So it's your boy, Universal Soldier. I love you guys. Subscribe. It's going down. I will have more stuff out soon. Y'all have a nice day. And don't the fucking forget to subscribe. <laughs> no, let me, stop. let me stop saying, but subscribe. Subscribe. We go hard because I can't go back home. My mom lives there.